Hello, Trip Zero here, and uh, I've got my handy dandy thermal infrared sensor, and we're going to take some temperatures. It's a very warm day. It's reaching about 30 degrees Celsius, so somewhere in the 90s. It's pretty warm in here. I'm putting on a uh, producing a quite a good sweat. So let's measure stuff. Let's first measure these. Uh, I'm not sure how well that can be read, but uh, let's see, that's about 37. Turning on the backlight doesn't help. 36, you know, 37. Same with that one. About 30, yeah, 36. This is our water cooled intake. And the aluminum is 31, so quite a bit, about 5 degrees cooler. Fan itself, 32. Water going out, you know, 31. Water coming in, about 31. It sure feels good. Feels good. Okay, relative to everything else, right? Okay, so over here. This is our geothermal line. So this is the heat exchanger, and already you can see there's quite a bit of condensation around it because it's a lot cooler than than everything else. And I can feel it. That feels really nice. It feels cool. So we're gonna get some uh, what do you call that? Some additional cooling effect just the fact that there's water condensing. Water condensation actually takes energy to you know take water from vapor form to um, liquid form, and that's going to pull that right out of the air, that energy right out of the air. So let's uh, measure this. 27 coming in. See if it's any different uh, down below. 27. This is the input line that I'm measuring now. You can see the red, the red dot. This is the output line. Oh, 27. So not bad. Um, this is our reservoir. Yeah, it's about 28, so not much, much more than the water that's coming up from the geothermal. Now, what I want to do now, I've got a bucket. I want to see if I can put a little bit in the water and see if, you know, measuring the water itself changes. So, I'll pull out the, and I really. I'm going to make a manifold that actually makes this nice, but for now I've just got the water coming in there. So, put a little bit of water in there, and yeah, about 26, about what it was in the exchanger. So, pretty cool. Not a lot of water coming out of there. My pump's only 5 watts. Just this little guy down here. Little guy. The noise you're hearing is coming from the other pump that's, you know, uh, circulating through this manifold and cooling everything else. But let's turn, let's cap this and turn it back on side. We don't want to waste any water if we can. Okay, sorry about that. That's that. Okay, so um, geothermal water really works. Look at that condensation on it. It's a good 10 degrees cooler than everything else in this greenhouse, so pretty awesome, if you ask me. Alright, Trip Zero out.